Hello everyone. This is Cyan Mitra here. This is the unboxing video of the U43D6535. 43 inch or 109 cm full HD IPS panel TV. I bought it from Flipkart and if you have already checked my review over there. Here is the unboxing of the TV that I recorded earlier. I am laying the voice to speech over the video, for ones who haven't seen the review on Flipkart. So, here it goes. The best budget 40 plus inch premium quality television within rupees 30,000 of 2015 to 2016 is finally here. It's a beast of a display and is surely a pleasure to one's eye. The splendid 8 plus grade IPS panel is the ultimate alluring factor of the device and it does stand up to the potential of much higher priced IPS televisions with same size specs. The panel used, is a perfect blend of glossy and matte, that is, right in between, and is perfect in my terms. Neither does it reflect light abnormally, nor is it dull by any means. At 1080p, the output is crisp, clear and sharp. 60 FPS video, games played smooth with no lags whatsoever with no noticeable ghosting. There wasn't any input lag either, while playing with PS4 and PC. The games looked crisp and gorgeous. The audio input jack was a top-notch quality metallic build, with incredible quality 3.5mm AUX intake. For audio output, the headphone jack is decent enough for headphones only as it cannot sustain high gain devices. And for connecting speakers, do use the AV out 3.5mm jack. It's perfect. And no, there isn't any hissing noise or sound at all, like the previous 40 inch model had. I tried F and D F6000 U5.1 speakers at full volume, but there was no unwanted audio noise at all, and the sound quality was great. The TV's two 8 watt speakers are very decent too. Good highs and mids, while average lows. Two U South B ports, both are USB 2.05 volts 500 milliamperes, but plays back 1080p 60fps without any lag. The device is also completely versatile with pen drive and hard disk file system. Supports NTFS, FAT32 and XFAT file system. It supports most video formats too, but certain audio codecs, most commonly AC3, DTS encoded audio, weren't supported, so in some video files sadly, only the video was being played, which may be resolved by the VU team with a software update soon, as this TV does support updating the firmware via pen drive within the settings. In the box. TV. Stands. Wall mount brackets and required screws. Remote. Warranty card. Manual. Two AAA batteries. The pros of the device are. Looks, 9.8 out of 10. Sound, 8.8 out of 10. HDMI output quality, 10 out of 10. Clarity, 10 out of 10. No input lag. No ghosting. Very good response time at 8ms. Versatile media player in terms of file system support. While the cons of the device being. Only two HDMI input jacks. No HDMI or VGA or RCA cables provided. Audio codec support is quite limited in the TV's media player. No USB 3.0 support. The HDMI, VGA, audio in jacks are present at the back of the TV. So overall, the final verdict is, at this current time and date, you won't be able to find any better looking TV with such top notch high quality performance and its main con being the non versatile media player in terms of audio codec support can hopefully be rectified by VU team soon, via a firmware update. But you can always play those videos over HDMI through your Blu-ray or DVD player or any other device that outputs HDMI and supports those formats. The build quality is very charming, covering up the captivating and gorgeous display, with a beautiful champagne gold colored brushed metal bezel at the bottom while black on all the other three sides. And icing the cake, the size of all those bezels being just 0.9 centimeters. The device, 
I can assure is by far, much more than what you are paying for. Making it a must-buy device and the most value for money TV available right now within this price range. Thanks for viewing this video. If the like the same, just hit the like button below and if you want to see more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube profile. Thank you.